it is very clear that the political class have decided to join to join hands and they have left people on their own and so as the people of this country i want to appeal to you let us also join hands together let us gang against these forces yes. these people who are opportunistic mm -hmm. these people are very materialistic and these people are self-centered ruto was elected on promises yeah. you are elected on a platform of transforming the lives of hustlers after getting to power you have abandoned those promises and you have decided to work very tirelessly and thoughtfully we are going to show you that you cannot you cannot lie to us twice it is possible for someone to lie to people once but not twice we are giving you up to 2027 in fact we are not giving you anything because we are done with you 2027 just pack and go back to sugoi the leaders that we have currently in the political space are very self-centered and so they all have to be shown the door come 2027 yes. that is why i want to appeal to our gen z we i want to appeal to our millennials i want to appeal to our elders in every part of this country i saw the other day ruto was uh, on a vote and on a four day tour of our region and uh, because now uh, he has joined hands with Raila and because now he uh, is campaigning for Raila to be the AU chairman, he is now, he's now convinced that he has the Nyanza people in his pocket. I want to tell you that that is an illusionary thinking. We may give you Mbuta because we are not, uh, we are not selfish. Luos, we cannot even vote for William Ruto. We, I, I am not sure of who we will vote for, but not William Ruto. Susan Kihika, again you are on our notice we have put you on our spotlight we are watching you if you are a slay queen you are not a good leader these people are narcissists and we must fight them with the last drop of our blood we are not going to allow you to mess up with our country you are you managed to lie to us in 2022 but now we are not you are not we are not going to allow you to lie to us in 2027 kwa majina naitwa Lawrence Omondi uh, mimi pia ni mkaji wa hapa and uh, as a citizen of our of this great country I also want to comment on the leadership affairs of our country so number 1 what is happening in this country, especially in the political space of our country? It is very clear that the political class have decided to join, to join hands and they have left people on their own. And so as the people of this country, I want to appeal to you. Let us also join hands together. Let us gang against these forces. Yes. These people who are opportunistic, mm -hmm. these people are very materialistic, and these people are self-centered. Yeah. They have shown us clearly, and the president has shown us, that he has no interest in transforming the lives of people. Mm -hmm. Ruto was elected on promises. Yeah. You are elected on a platform of transforming the lives of hustlers. After getting to power, you have abandoned those promises and you have decided to work very tirelessly and thoughtfully on your re-election and you want to say Mr. William Ruto I know that there is this notion that I don't know it is there is deep state there is system in 2027 it will be a justification it is be a year of justification that there is no deep state and system other than people we are going to show you that you cannot you cannot lie to us twice it is possible for someone to lie to people once but not twice right now uh, our our teachers our high school teachers are, are on strike and we are seeing that you have already budgeted you have already uh, released three billion to take care of Raila's AUC chairmanship bid right mr william saboe ruto this time we have you on our spot and we have put you on the notice we are giving you up to 2027 in fact we are not giving you anything because we are done with you 2027 just pack and go back to sugoi hey. this thing is now beyond your capacity you have shown us that you have no capability you have no wit to transform this country we are going to look for a leader who is pro people who is about the interest of people and not about his or her own interest our current political class is self-centered and as people we have to shop 
for new leaders. The leaders that we have currently in the political space are very self-centered. And so they all have to be shown the door come 2027. Yes. That is why I want to appeal to our Gen Z. We I want to appeal to our millennials. I want to appeal to our elders in every part of this country. Where, whether you are coming from the backyard of the president, whether you are coming from the backyard of deputy president, whether you are coming from Nairobi or just here in Nakuru, we are telling you, please, let us see things beyond tribe. Let us not reason a tribal way. Let us not have a tribal mind. Let us have an independent mind. Let us have a very visionary line and let us see let us let us see things uh, beyond tribal th matters and tribal narratives. <laughs> Lastly, because I come from Nyanza, I also have to comment on the politics back at home. I saw the other day Ruto was uh, on a vote and on a four day tour of our region. And uh, because now uh, he has joined hands with Raila, and because now uh, he is campaigning for Raila to be the AU chairman, he is now, he's now convinced that he has the Nyanza people in his pocket. I want to tell you that that is an illusionary thinking. There is nothing of that kind. I, together with others, we form Nyanza. And once we have said we are not going to vote for you, that is it. We may give you Mbuta because we are not, uh, we are not selfish. You know, we like giving, we like treating our, our visitors nicely. Yeah. So that nice treatment should not, should not, uh, uh, that nice treatment should not cheat you that we are now going to sing a political song in your favor in 2027. The political song that we are going to sing in 2027 is going to be against you. We are not going to vote for you. And as a matter of fact, Luos, we cannot even vote for William Ruto. We, I, I am not sure of who we will vote for, but not William Ruto. That is something that I can bet on. That is something that I can speak on with good authority, that we are not going to vote for you in 2027. Uh, to our Nakuru County, Nakuru County uh, is known as the county of unlimited of limit unlimited opportunities, but it has revolved over the times to be a limited a county of limited opportunities. And as we speak right now, it is a county of zero opportunities. There is no opportunities in this county. Susan Kihika, again you are on our notice. We have put you on our spotlight. We are watching you. The, your time is over. Being Slay Queen is not tantamount to being a good leader. If you are a Slay Queen, you are not a good leader. Many people have shown us the likes of Karen Nyamu that being a Slay Queen is not tantamount to being a good leader. This, this county has defeated you to transform, to manage. There is no opportunities here. You promised us as youth that if we, elected, we elect you, you are going to create opportunities in this county. But it has, it, you have done the complete opposite of what you promised. And we are now giving you a stern uh, warning that it is high time you change. If you don't change, the next phase of Gen Z revolution that we are about to unleash is going to consume you. We as people, we are going to thwart you and throw you into oblivion. We are going to vanquish you into political oblivion. We are not going to vote for you again. Uh, lastly, uh, I want to say this. As young people, let us register as voters. Let us, let, us let us own this initiative of transforming our country. Let us not wait for someone somewhere to come empower us with funds so that we can transform this country. Let us own this initiative. Let us mobilize our elderly. Let us mobilize our millennials. Let us mobilize everybody who has attained the voting age. Let us educate because we have problems with our, our, our elder people. These are the people that are still rooting for this man called William Samuel Ruto. This liar who has justified to us beyond reasonable doubts that lying is deeply in his gene. Lying is another component of his blood, other than the four components of blood. So there is nothing, we are not going to treat you to any, uh, any favoritism. We are going to show you the door. 
you have shown us that you are uh, self-centered you are no you are a, you are anti our interest and we are also going to justify to you that now we are anti you we are not pro you now you 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 we elected you on promises you have you have vanquished those promises you have uh, abandoned our promises and you are working on your re-election today you are on a trip you have gone to china and the reasons the core reason why you have gone to china is just to ensure that baba gets the position of au i have for that matter i have a lot of respect for raila odinga he's a good leader he's a reformist he has brought very good goodies in our country but raila odinga it is also said that a good dancer knows when to leave the stage the time is now ripe for you to leave the political stage exit the political stage to create to pave way for a new uh, political class for a new political clique to come in and also transform this country we as youths we are very jobless unemployment is at the top notch and nobody is speaking about these things people are just speaking about 2027 about au about who will be what when you hear gashagwa speaking especially in mount kenya uh, which he has he has also approved to us and justified that he is a mount kenya he has reduced himself to a mount kenya leader as opposed to uh, portraying himself and positioning himself as a national leader he is a deputy president and by the virtue of the position he holds he should portray himself as a national leader <laughs> when you hear him speaking in, in 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 mount kenya every sunday and every day he is about these people will never be will never uh, come back to to parliament these people will never i don't know do what he is not speaking about our unemployed youths he is not speaking about the, the 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 problems that are there in our education system he is not speaking about the problems that are there in our area of labor he is about who will come back and who will not come back so these are leaders who are very self centered they are very materialistic they are very opportunistic these are narcissists if i can now describe them with a good with a good language these people are narcissists and we must fight them with the last drop of our blood we are not going to allow you to mess up with our country you are, you managed to lie to us in 2022 but now we are not you are not we are not going to allow you to lie to us in 2027 thank you very much and god bless you all yeah. thank you so much